Well, thank you. Really appreciate that. And actually, right before we uh, jump on the video, let me—I mean, the uh, masterclass. Let me turn on my video just so I can give you a quick hello and say uh, welcome to my studio here. You can see it's uh, EO Fire Studios in the house. But thank you for being here live. Thank you for coming to this podcast masterclass. We're going to have a great time today. Um, here I am in my studio right through this uh, wall right here um, is where Kate's office is. So Kate is behind the computer right now, rocking the chat. Kate EO Fire, ask her any questions you have. She will be answering them. And of course, any questions you have for me, I'm going to be hitting up in the live Q&A at the end of this. Because guys, this is live. It's January 30th. It's one minute till we're beginning here. I'm welcoming all of you as you come in. The podcast masterclass is going to be killer because it's about you becoming a successful podcaster, learning how to create, grow, and monetize your podcast without being super techie or spending a lot of money because that's not what it's all about. What it is all about is you sharing your voice, your message, your mission with the world. So I'm going to jump back to the uh, screen uh, real quick, the actual presentation. I'll be back on video later to uh, say hello again and to answer some questions, but I want to kick off to respect your time because you're here I appreciate that, and uh, I want to make sure that we make the most of the time that we have together here today. So let me just uh, real quick say to the other people who might have joined in, we have Michael from Austin, Texas in the house. Uh, Juan says, thanks, Kate. I also am seeing uh, Vincent rocking and rolling. Welcome, Vincent. And a lot of people on the sidelines as well. I'm seeing uh, Jim C., Gary, JW, Kendra, Benjamin, Zero Hash, Millerwood, Michael, Joanne, Peter, Monty. David, Darren, <clears throat> and a lot of other awesome people who are here for this live masterclass. So let's kick on in with a thank you. So if you do stick around till the end, um, I do have a gift for every single person who can make that happen, who can commit to learning this amazing podcast content that I have for you today. Um, my book, Podcast Launch, the number one ranked book in all of Amazon on podcasting, I will gift to you. So stick around for that. And what is today's workshop going to be about? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to be talking about how you can create a podcast. Now, specifically, we're talking about discovering your podcast topic, identifying your perfect listener, understanding the different types of podcasts, and also knowing which equipment you will need. And I'm going to be giving you the best recording and editing software, also what a podcast studio should look like, the seven-step podcasting process, which is a video I created for you, and so much more. <clears throat> We're also going to be talking about launching a podcast where I will be sharing the perfect launch plan, how to rank well in iTunes, as well as other directories, and what your first episode needs to include, period, end of story. And I want to talk to you about how to grow your podcast because I want to share with you which directories you should be focusing on, the power of groups and forums, how to make the most of your guests' appearance when they're actually on your show, and my number one growth tactic. And by the way, it is not what you would expect. Also, let's talk about monetizing your podcast because I'm going to be talking about the five ways to monetize your podcast, plus how to land a sponsor week one. This is a great strategy that it shocks me that other people aren't using, but the reason why they're not is because they just don't know about it, but I'm going to be breaking it down for you today. And then, of course, I'll share a sneak peek of Podcasters Paradise, the number one podcasting community in the world. So let's get started. Now, why is podcasting on fire right now, some of you might ask? I mean, it's literally a slew of everybody, a who's who. They all have podcasts now for a reason. Uh, one of the more recent celebs to launch, Conan O'Brien, launches Conan Needs a Friend. Well, 64% of Americans, they've heard of podcasts. That's a huge percentage. That's a majority. And almost half of them have listened to a podcast. And over a quarter of them listen monthly, and almost 70% of podcasts are consumed on a mobile device, meaning that it's with people as they travel, as they're out, as they're walking around, as they're driving around, as they're commuting. It's within arm's reach. And the average American subscribes to an average of seven podcasts. So that's a lot of subscribing, a lot of listening. And six million more Americans became listeners back in 2018. <clears throat> so these are huge, important, exciting facts 
across the board. Now, why should you podcast? Why should you right now, those just incredible individuals that are watching right now, I've been giving you shout outs. I've shared where you're coming from. You're coming from any, everywhere from the Antarctic, AKA Milwaukee, all the way down to Jamaica, which is you know my island brothers and sisters down there. So I love it. So why should you be podcasting? Well, so you can share your voice, your message and your mission. So you can connect with influencers in your niche. So you can build authority and credibility in that vertical and grow an audience and launch your business. These are all reasons why you should be podcasting. Also, what about creating a platform to sell your products or amplifying your current business's reach and its influence? And achieving lifestyle and location independence, it's very possible and doable. Why do you think Kate and I moved from Maine, burr, to San Diego, awesome, to Puerto Rico, awesomer? Because we can, period, end of story. So let's bust some myths. Myth number one is, John, I don't have the time to podcast, my friends. If you commit one day a month, one day per month, you will be able to have a successful weekly podcast. We give you all the training on how to do this specific thing in Podcasters Paradise. I'm talking three, four hours, one day a month, you can have a successful weekly podcast. Myth number two, John, I won't get the tech side of things. It is so much simpler than you think. I'm telling you right now, myself, Amy Porterfield, we're not techie people. We, we know how to press the record button and then we just share our voice, our message, our mission with the world. That's what we do. It is so much simpler than you think. Uh, myth number three is, John, I don't have a radio voice. My one word response to that is good. People don't want to hear a radio voice. They want to hear your voice, your authentic, your genuine voice talking about a topic that you care about, that you're passionate about, that you're curious about, that you're adding value you in. So now that we busted some myths, let me tell you a little bit about my journey. There's little JLD there at four years old, splashing in the leaves on a nice Maine autumn day. Above uh, that picture there, you're seeing an 18 year old about to leave for Providence College in Rhode Island. Off to the um, right there, I guess, as you're viewing this, um, that's me at 24 years old in my full battle rattle in Fallujah, Iraq during my 13 month tour of duty. Um, in the US Army. And one thing that I want to really draw your attention to with these three photographs is my smile. I was a happy boy. I was a happy young adult. I was a happy adult across the board. It was just my natural persona. But post military, I went through six years of struggle. You know, I tried law school and it was just not for me. I was unhappy. I dropped out. I tried corporate finance and I died a slow death in a cubicle. It just wasn't for me. I went into real estate, both in San Diego and back in Maine, both commercial and residential. And there were some good times and it was a four year career, so to speak, but it just wasn't something that was like lighting me up inside. And looking back, you know, as to why over those six years I had no success and I had very little fun because I had no passion. I had no fire for what I was doing. But fortunately, I did have an aha moment at 32 years old back in 2012. And I launched a daily podcast interviewing the world's most successful entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs on fire. Now, when I launched, I want to be incredibly clear and 100% transparent and honest. I had no broadcasting experience. I had no online presence whatsoever. I was coming up short in both of these because I just had never done this before. I had never done any of these things before. So how could I be good? How could I expect to be good? Well, you know, I didn't and I wasn't, but guess what? I put in the reps, I got better. But I did also go from clueless, which is where I was back in 2012, to launching my podcast a few months later. Now, how did I do that? Well, like you, like every single person on this masterclass right now, I went searching for content. I went searching for lessons, for tutorials, for guidance. And unfortunately, there wasn't stuff like this free masterclass you're on right now. There wasn't stuff like my free podcasting course or Podcasters Paradise. There was a couple crappy blog posts. That was about it. So I went and invested heavily <clears throat> in myself with Jamie Masters, who was a successful business podcast coach of the eventual millionaire. I hired her. It was thousands and thousands of dollars, but she guided me. She, she showed me the path and it was a very valuable investment. Again, not cheap, thousands of dollars per month, 
but it was that one-on-one -on -one that was really helpful for me. I also spent $3,500 to join Cliff Ravenscraft's podcast mastermind for an entire year. Now, unfortunately, that's no longer available. It doesn't exist anymore, and it was a great year, but it was also that massive investment. It was $3,500. Now, looking back, did these investments in myself actually pay off? Well, since launch, EO Fires won Best of iTunes. We have over 70 million downloads in 145 countries. We have over 1 million listens every month, and we are consistently generating over $150,000 every single month. <clears throat> I'm going to be breaking down a lot of those revenue streams coming up in this presentation. But I do want to be very clear about one thing. Everything that we've had success-wise has come from the foundation, has come from the platform of Entrepreneurs on Fire, of the podcast. So that is key. So if you're thinking that you might have your podcast be your foundation, be your headquarters, be your, your platform, that's a good thought. So let's talk about creating your podcast. Because the number one question that I get is, John, what should I podcast about? What should my podcast topic be? Here's an exercise. Don't do it now, but maybe do it sometime later today or tomorrow. You take out a piece of paper, draw a line down the middle, put up the word <clears throat> curiosity on the left and the word expertise on the right. Set your timer for five minutes. And then in that left-hand column under the word curiosity, write down everything that you're curios curious about everything that you're passionate about, what excites you, what fires you up, write all of these things down for five minutes, just write, 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 write. And then when the timer goes off, reset it for five minutes and do the same thing on the right-hand side. Write down skills you've acquired, write down things that you are valuable at, meaning like value, knowledge that you have in this world. What is an expertise that you've acquired over the years? Ask your friends, ask your family, ask your loved ones, hey, if you were to be asked by somebody else, what is John good at? How would you answer that question? Let other people share with you what they think you're an expert in. Write those things down. After five minutes, you're gonna have a lot of words on this piece of paper. Now you need, you're gonna need to start and seeing, you're gonna have to start to see where your curiosity and your expertise merge. Where do your passions in your skills unite? Look at those things because that is your zone of fire. When you can connect those two things, a curiosity and a skill set, a passion and a value bomb, that's where you can create a killer podcast topic. That is your zone of fire. But then you're going to Google it. You're going to say, but John, somebody's already doing it. Somebody's already taken my zone of fire and they're doing it and they're, they have a business that's already happening. And that's when I say, about face 180 degrees because that is proof of concept. It is exciting that somebody's doing what your what your um, zone of fire is. That is a good thing. That is a green flag, not a red flag. So now do these three things. Number one, do it differently. Number two, be unique. And number three, add your personality because nobody can be you. Now, how did I be different, which was number one? Well, I did it daily. I did it seven days a week for 2,000 days in a row. That was me being different. How was I unique? Well, my format, I would ask your worst moment, your aha moments, um, the lightning round. It was a very structured formatted show, which was unique. Not, in, not many people, if anybody was doing that. And then personality, it was me. That was my personality. I was being me, moi. So the next thing that I see so many people get wrong is defining their avatar. In fact, if I had to put a percentage on it, 99% of podcasters flat out get this wrong. Your avatar, simply put, is the one perfect listener, singular, uno, single one, 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 one person, not 10, not 20, not a targeted demographic of men between the ages of 35 and 50 that like to watch football on the weekends, go Patriots. It is one perfect listener, period, end of story. So there's a picture of my avatar. His name's Jimmy. He's 39 years old. He has a wife and two kids, ages three and five. He drives to work by himself every single day. It's a 25-minute commute to work. He gets to his office. He sits in a cubicle at a job he doesn't like for eight hours. Then he gets back in his car, gets stuck in traffic on a 35-minute commute going home. Then he gets home. He plays with his kids. He has dinner with his family, puts his kids to bed. He hangs out with his wife. And then he sits on the couch by himself at the end of every single day. And he has what I call a little Jimmy pity party. 
Jimmy sits on that couch and has a Jimmy pity party saying, why do I spend 90% of my waking hours doing things I don't enjoy, commuting to work, sitting in a cubicle, commuting home. I only spend 10% of my waking hours doing what I love, spending time with my kids and my family. What am I doing? Jimmy needs to be listening to entrepreneurs on fire every single morning as he drives to work, every single afternoon as he's driving home, and then every single evening when he's on that couch having a pity party, he needs to be listening to entrepreneurs on fire, giving him inspiration, motivation, tips, tools, tactics, confidence, courage, everything that he needs to create the life that he wants. Now, when I am running my podcast, Entrepreneurs on Fire, guess what? I, as an entrepreneur, come to 1,000 forks in the road. This is not on an annual basis. This is on a monthly basis, sometimes on a weekly basis. I'm coming to 1,000 forks in the road, and so many people spend so much time saying, should I go left or should I go right? They're spending time, energy, money, bandwidth, all those things, and guess what? They're trying to decide which path to take, and it's a huge mistake. It's a huge mistake because that's wasted bandwidth because you should not be making that decision. You are not the avatar. You are not the perfect listener of your podcast. You're the host. You are running the show, but your perfect listener has the answer for you. I look, I look at these forks in the road and I say, WWJD, what would Jimmy do? And I'm off to the races, left, right, left, left, right. It is really that simple. It's like taking the weight of the world off of your shoulders, Atlas style, and just putting it where it should be, which is the weight of the world on your avatar to make the decisions. And it's your avatar, it's your perfect listener. They will tell you and guide you correctly. Questions I get all the time, John, what should I podcast about? How long should it be? Should it be interview or topic based? How many times per week? What category should I be in? That's my response. I conjure up my fireballs of frustration right there. And I say one thing, what would your avatar want? Why are you asking me? Because I'm gonna lead in real close and tell you something right now. I'm not gonna listen to your podcast. I, JLD, am not going to listen to your podcast. Not because I don't like you, not because I don't think it's a good show. It's because I am not going to listen to your podcast. I don't have the time. I don't have the desire. I'm not going to do it. So why do you care what I would think about these key decisions of your show? You should only care what your avatar thinks. Put the power back in your pockets and then give the power to your avatar, your perfect listener, and you are off to the races. Let's talk about types of podcasts. You do have your interview types of podcasts like Entrepreneurs on Fire, where I interview successful entrepreneurs. You also have topic-based podcasts like Kate's Take, Behind the Scenes of a Seven Figure Business, where Kate talks about topics that are relevant to running a seven figure business. <clears throat> you have Q&A type podcasts like Pat Flynn, Ask Pat. That is where he takes a question from his listeners and he gives them an answer. It's a Q&A podcast. Excuse me. You also have variety shows. Like when I switch entrepreneurs on fire from the 2000 episode format that I had done for those 2000 days into a more variety show, now I will interview people. I will do Q&As. I will do topic-based shows. I'll do rants. I'll do all these cool different things to mix things up. So you can do that as well. You can also have ongoing or seasons. Entrepreneurs on Fire has been ongoing now. It's into its seventh year as a podcast. It's been ongoing since 2012. Now it's 2019. You have seasonal shows like Kate's Take. Kate does seasons where she'll create a season on a topic, on a theme, and then she'll end the season. She'll take a few month break, and then she'll start the next season back up. So you can have that seasonal format as well, which is a big aha moment for a lot of people who say, oh, I can start and then stop and just take a break and take a little sabbatical and come back. Absolutely. Just keep your audience informed. Now, a common question I get is, John, can a niche podcast succeed? Meaning, can a podcast on a very specific, narrow topic succeed? And the answer is emphatically yes. In fact, I am seeing niche podcasts succeed at a very high level in 2019, period. End of story. Let's talk about podcast equipment. All you need, my friends, is a computer, 
a microphone, and recording software. That is what you need. Let's talk about those microphones. Well, the low cost that I recommend is the Logitech Clear Chat. It's $29.99, and yes, this is a good quality microphone. This is what my guests must have at a minimum to be on Entrepreneurs on Fire. If they're not willing to spend $30, to get this mic and to sound good, they're not gonna be on my show. I don't care who they are, period, end of story. The medium cost is around $70. It's called the ATR2100. This is what Kate uses for her podcast, Kate's Take. It's a great mic. In fact, right here, my friends, is my number one recommended mic. When you combine cost and quality, you cannot beat this microphone. The high cost is the high LPR40. This is a broadcast quality mic, it's $327 and it is awesome. I use it, I've used it for all 2,080 episodes of Entrepreneurs on Fire. It's a great mic. Let's talk about recording and editing software now. My number one recommended recording and editing software is Adobe Audition. Uh, this does cost $20 per month via the Adobe Creative Cloud, so there is a cost associated with it, but it's amazing, it's high, high quality, and thanks to Podcasters Paradise, I've given you every single video tutorial that you need to become a podcasting, editing and recording pro via Adobe Audition. Get you covered. Audacity is free, so the price is right there. Um, works on both Macs and PCs, just like Adobe Audition does. Um, and just like Adobe Audition, we have every video tutorial you need to become a podcast recording and editing pro. GarageBand, some people just love Macs. I get it, this comes pre-installed, it's also free, and we also have all the tutorials you need in Paradise. So is tech still holding you back? Well, if you think your studio needs to look like this, you are sadly mistaken. This is some 1970s retro studio. I think I see Ron Burgundy, Mr. Anchorman himself, trying to hide out back there. This is a joke right here with these sound panels and microphones and knobs, and come on, this is crazy town. This, my friends, is the EO Fire Studio. Just give me a computer and a microphone and you are off to the races. <laughs> Let's talk about the seven step podcasting process. Step number one, record your podcast. Step number two, add an intro and outro. Step number three, export that MP3, which is just like saving a Word document. Step number four, tag that podcast. Step number five, upload it to your media host. Step number six, schedule. Step number seven, publish. And guess what? That is the seven step podcasting process. But as promised, I have a video tutorial for you within Adobe Audition right there, where I'm going to show you step by step this seven step uh, podcasting process. So I'm going to go ahead and press the play button here and we'll type in the title podcast masterclass, January 30th of 2019. And then I'm going to hit the record button and I'll record a quick sample track. Let's see. I'll say prepare to ignite. And that'll just be the sample that we use for this, for this, uh, for sample purposes. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add in my pre-recorded intro and outro that you can see right there. I'll drag the podcast episode out of the way so I can drag in the intro. There it is. And it's a little too long as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and accordion this down a little bit. I'll drag the podcast episode back up and then the podcast outro to finish it off. So there you go. Intro, episode, outro. I'm all good to go now. Now I'm going to export this MP3, which is again, just like saving a Word document. I'm going to go ahead and title that again, the podcast masterclass of April, uh, January 30th. There it is right there. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to ID3 editor. That's the software tool we, re we recommend to tag your MP3. So now I'm here tagging the MP3 with the title, with the artist, with the album. I need to make sure to click, <clears throat> excuse me, that podcast tab. So I'm enabling the podcast tag. Um, under lyrics, that is what your description is. So I'm just gonna put test just for time purposes. Under picture, I'm gonna go ahead and add the logo, voila. Click update. Now there is a tagged MP3. Next step is to upload it to the media host. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to add new episode. Once I've clicked on add new episode, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that add media file right there. I'm gonna click populate form with ID3 data so it automatically imports it. Gonna go find that podcast episode and upload it and boom, there it is, the title, 
the descriptions there, the logos there. I'm gonna keep on scrolling down to the bottom where it says schedule and release. And I'm gonna set it for, let's say February, excuse me, 2025, just cause I don't actually want this to be uh, going live. This is just a test of course. I'll do it at 2.30 a.m. and I'll click publish. And guess what? I've just published it, but now I want to go check my work under scheduled for release because obviously this is in the future. And then there it is, podcast masterclass, Saturday, February 1st of 2025, and I'm good. I'm done. I am complete. Now I can click on any of these buttons here for details, for links, for edit. If I click more, that'll pop open so I can remove it, look at the stats, and I can do all that jazz right from the media host here. So there you have it, my friends. That was the seven-step podcasting process. And by the way, that was under three minutes. So I just went through these seven steps in under three minutes. Of course, in Podcasters Paradise, we break down every single one of these steps in detail. Um, we take our time doing it because we want you to become pros at every single one of these seven steps. So let's talk about growing your podcast. But before I do, I do want to jump back into the chat and see hi to, say hi to Michael P. from Austin, Texas in the house. Juan's still chatting away. We have Peter says, pictures for the win. Zero hash. We got Tony B. in the house says, I'm so excited. We got Davia rocking and rolling. Uh, we also have Ramsey Clay Green in the house. What's up? Transform, you live. Thank you for your service. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, Davia can relate to my story. Super cool, Davia. Uh, we also have Juan again, rock and rolling, guest 1591, Tony McBride, loving it. Um, do, 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 let me keep scrolling down. Judy Fritz in the house, ready to rock. She says, after years of talking about it, I'm finally going to get rolling this year. Judy, I hope you let us help you with Podcasters Paradise because uh, we're committed to getting people's voice and their message out to the world. Uh, Ramsey in the house, a lot of great questions, my friends. I am going to be answering all of them in full at the end of this masterclass. Ramsey says, thanks. And Jeff says, nice seven steps. I appreciate that. Um, and good stuff by all. So growing your audience, my friends, number one way to grow your audience is to leverage the podcast directories. I mean, here, let's start at the top, right? We got Google podcasts, Stitcher, Pandora, Spotify, SoundCloud. These are major companies. These are major podcast directories. Some of them with tens of millions of users like Pandora and Spotify, just massive. Um, and they're gonna become big deals, by the way. In Podcasters Paradise, we give you the, the strategies and the tactics on how to maximize these directories. But for the purposes of time in this uh, masterclass, we're gonna be focusing on the mothership, which is Apple, iTunes, and the reason why we're going to uh, focus on Apple iTunes is for the following reason. They have 525 million active users. It's insane. It's amazing. These are active users. And again, you can see some people that are taking full advantage of uh, the incredible iTunes directory like Tim Ferriss, Dave Ramsey, Pat Flynn, JLD, Amy Porterfield, James Altucher, Michael Hyatt, I mean, Dan Miller, Amy Porterfield, the list goes on. 45 million people, by the way, are using that search bar that are circled in yellow there every single month in iTunes. So when people search for the word entrepreneur, I'm the second result for that word. Think of the organic traffic that sends me every single month. It's absolutely incredible. And think about the words that you want to rank for, for your business. You can't until you have your podcast. And of course, we show you how to properly name and use descriptors in your podcast to make sure that you are ranking at the tops of these lists. 315 million people are accessing iTunes on their iPhone. This is just iPhone. Think about the Androids that are out there. It's like quadruple this, but this means that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, your voice, your message, the mission that you wanna share with the world is within arm's reach of all of these hundreds of millions of people. And now you can just step in your car and you have the dashboards where there's Spotify, there's podcasts right there for the Apple podcast, there's Pandora, you name it, it's there. It's becoming so easy now for people 
to find and listen to your podcast wherever they are. Number two, let's talk about the perfect launch plan if you want to maximize the growth of your podcast. Now, within Podcasters Paradise, we have an 11 video series that's called the perfect launch plan that I highly, highly recommend you use in your launch. Now, if you've already launched, it's still going to be incredibly helpful for you to go back and watch these 11 videos because it's not too late to implement a lot of these strategies to your current podcast right now. So number one, pick a date. You're going to want to pick the date because it's going to make it real, period, and end of story. Then you want to plan a launch party. You want to make this big. You want to let people know this is happening. Then you want to warm up your audience. Where are you going to do that? Via social media, your email list, any way that you can do that, warm that audience up. You want to have one month of episodes in the bank. Let me even just kind of like actually add to this here because this is key. It's one month of, I'm just going to put apps. So one month of episodes in the bank. That is key because this first month of you launching, I don't want you to be focusing on creating more podcast episodes, booking interview guests, recording those interviews, or editing your shows. No, no, no. I want you to have everything done and scheduled pre-launch so that post-launch you can focus on marketing, marketing, pushing, pushing, getting the word out there. That is key. I also want you to launch with three shows, not 10, not one, but three. In Paradise, I get into the exact details. Why? Because it is pretty specific reasons. Um, we won't get into details here, but just know that is the number. You want your episode one to be your about me episode. Just like you have an about me page on your website, you need an about me episode to tell people about your podcast, about who you are, about who the podcast is for, what they can expect. It's so critical you create the right about me episode. And we have all the details on this episode in paradise. And of course your vocabulary has to be subscribe rate, and review. Don't tell people to go check out your podcast or go listen or go download. No, you want them to go subscribe to your podcast very specifically, and then leave a rating and review so that you can build credibility. You can increase the rank of your podcast within the iTunes store and so on and so forth. Number three, leverage the audience of your guests. Within the first 90 days of launching my podcast, I had Seth Godin, Tim Ferriss, Barbara Corkin, Gary Vaynerchuk, Chris Brogan, all on my show. I mean, these were massive names with massive audiences. And guess what? I didn't miss the opportunity where my first email that went out when their episode went live was to Tim and to Barbara and to Gary to say, hey, your interview's live and it's going to be listened to by Fire Nation today. Here's how you can share your amazing story with one click. And I give them all the easy ways to do just that. Now, my friends, this is just one of over 40 templates that we have for you. These templates are for you in paradise to make your own, to not recreate the wheel because we know that these are the type of templates that work. Put your own branding on it, put your own personality into it, but use these as the baseline templates to create for when you're sending out reminders to your guests, when you're trying to book interviews, when you're trying to get on other shows, like all these different things, we've created all these templates for you. They are here for you. Number four, leverage existing communities. LinkedIn, Facebook, Google Plus, Meetup, I mean, all of these different groups and uh, platforms, I should say, have these thriving active groups that are chock full of your perfect avatar. So you need to go find those groups, become a valuable member of the groups where your perfect listeners are spending time and become a person of value in those groups to make sure that they know who you are and what it is that you do. And of course, your podcast is a natural part of what you do. Number five is social media. And there are so many different social media platforms. That's why in Podcasters Paradise, we've broken down every single social media platform to give you the best practices. Because if you try to do on LinkedIn, um, the same thing you're doing on Instagram, it is a huge mistake because they're completely different platforms and you need to treat them very differently as well. So we give you best practices for every social media platform so that you can thrive on each and every one. A great tactic that I love is a tool called repurpose.io. So as soon as my podcast goes live, thanks to this tool, my show automatically is published on to <clears throat> uh, Facebook and this Facebook post with this great graphic and those audio waves going up and down with all that information. It's all automated. It's all beautiful. 
So that's just one example of a tool that I love um, that I wanted to share with you here. Now let's talk about ranking well on iTunes because a lot of people do ask about this. Now listen, nobody knows the exact algorithm and anybody that claims they know is lying because it's changing all the time. But this is a, a lot of what goes into the iTunes ranking system. Number one, your number of daily downloads plus your number of total subscribers plus the number of subscribers in the last 48 hours because iTunes wants to see that your show has a lot of recent subscribers. That recency is huge. Plus the number of ratings and reviews and the ratings and reviews in the last 48 hours. Again, iTunes wants to see recency. It's key. That's why your social media has to be on point and that's why you need to continue to market in an effective way. All of these things add up to equal higher rankings. Now here's my number one growth tip. And again, you're not going to have expected this, but the truth sometimes hurts. Don't focus on getting bigger, focus on getting better. So many people come to me and they say, John, oh my God, how do I get more listens? How do I get more downloads to my show? How do I do this? How do I do that? How do I grow, 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 grow? And then I go listen to their podcast and it stinks. And I'm like, what are you gonna do? Like you're gonna drive more traffic to your show using some tactics. And people that are going to show up and listen to your show are going to have the same reaction that I have. The show stinks or it's not good or it's not good enough. Any of those things means they leave and they never come back and they never tell anybody. So please, my friends, focus on getting better. So many of the tutorials that I have for you in Podcasters Paradise are geared towards you becoming better as a podcast host, as an interviewer, as a speaker, as a communicator. I want you to hone your skills. I want you to put in the reps. I want you to get better so that when people do find you, they love you and they love your show and they tell their friends and you grow the right way. JLD, out. <laughs> Let's talk about monetizing, but before we do, let me jump into the chat again and say what's up to some peeps that have been rocking and rolling. Again, we have Transform You. We got Davia in the house. Juan still chatting away. Tony rocking and rolling. We have Judy in the house. Ramsey, Jeff, Michael, Jim C. Um, we got Juan again. Uh, a lot of people on the sidelines too. We have um, Whitney, Matt, Vincent, Kendra, Benjamin, Concepta, Ramsey, Todd, Chris, Millwood, King, David, Chris, Peter, Joanne, Dare, just to name a few. So uh, my friends, love the activity. Keep up the activity. Let's end strong here. The number one question that I get is, John, how do you monetize to the tune of over $150,000 every single month? Let me break down the top five for you. Number five is coaching and membership masterminds. So coaching can be a great way to monetize your podcast. It's one of the first ways that I ever monetize because when you are delivering value to an audience and they are beginning to know, like, and trust you as a human being, then when it comes time for them to invest in themselves with a mentor, you are going to be high on that list. And once you kind of reach your capacity with one-on-one -on -one uh, clients. Now it's time to think about starting group coaching, AKA membership masterminds. We started fire nation elite back in a April of 2013. And for 30 months, that was a 10, sorry, a, uh, yeah, that was over $10,000 of revenue every single month. That was a five figure revenue stream for us for 30 straight months. It was a really exciting. Then we decided to shut it down because we had a lot of other things that were adding food to our plate, so to speak. And we had to take some other things off of our plate to keep a balanced life. But that was a great way that we generated a lot of revenue. Um, a success story from Paradise. We have Jody Flynn from Women Taking the Lead. She did one podcast episode on who her perfect avatar was. And she had two clients from that in just three weeks that generated over $13,500 for her. And the best part was these were international clients. She had only been booking clients in her town before she launched her podcast. And then she launched her podcast. She had her episode about her avatar. And now she's taking clients around the world. Number four is crowdfunding. If you guys have heard of a couple of projects I did, the Mastery Journal and the Freedom Journal, uh, both of these were great successes. The Freedom did over $453,000 in just 33 days and the Mastery 280,000 
in 33 days. And that was just during the launches. Of course, in the years since then, they've just continued to generate significant revenue, which you can see in our income reports. And this all came from my audience telling me what they wanted, me saying, okay, we'll use crowdfunding to make them put their money where their mouth is. If they do, if they validate this idea, then we'll make it. It's a great strategy for you as well to make sure before you go and create that thing that your audience really wants it. Affiliates is a great way to generate significant revenue. ConvertKit, ClickFunnels, Bluehost, Audible. These are just a couple of the many, many affiliates that we generate you know, a lot of revenue from every single month. And again, our income reports lay all that out in detail but this is a real great way to generate revenue. What you would do is you'd have a resources page. For me, it's eofire.com slash resources. So whenever I recommend a product or a service, I, I drive people to my resources page where it's listed with my affiliate link and people are able to select it and be off to the races, get what they need, um, and we get commission from the company for that. A great example from a paradise you're doing this is Greg Clunas, who within one month of launching his podcast, Tiny Leaps, Big Changes, had two affiliate relationships rock and roll in form. Really proud of that guy. Number two is sponsorships. If you've heard my show, you've heard Zip Recruiter, Design Crowd, Braintree, LegalZoom, and so many more. Excuse me. Um, sponsorships are a great way to monetize your podcast once you've hit a, a certain excuse me, listenership level, because these are companies that have deep pockets that want to get in front of you. Um, sorry, they want to get in front of your listeners, your listeners who know, like, and trust you. So this is very key that you know that you like and you trust these companies. So just make sure you're bringing the right companies, the right sponsors onto your show, you're prom promoting the right products, the right services, because as Warren Buffett says, it can take 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to destroy it. So make sure that you are always doing right by your listener, period, end of story. Um, <clears throat> a great example from Paradise, we have Kimberly Fokker. By the way, this is that niche podcast example where she has a very niche podcast on dancing. She has one on ballet, but all of her podcasts have sponsorships because those ballet companies know that her listeners are perfect for their products and services. So they don't care how small or that it doesn't have tens of thousands of listens every episode. They just know that every one of those listens is a potential perfect client for their stuff, period, end of story. Now, in Podcasters Paradise, we got you covered. We tell you how to find sponsors, the email templates, the contracts that we use, how to negotiate, everything you need is there in one place. Now, here's an example of how you can have a sponsor week one. True end of story. Um, you launch your episode with three, you launch with those three episodes that I talked about during the perfect launch plan. Then you visit eofire.com slash audible. That's gonna take you to this page you're seeing in the bottom right-hand corner here, which is where you can make money with a free offer for your listeners through Audible, which is an Amazon company. You click apply now, that orange apply now button right there. You get accepted into Audible's affiliate program, and then you start promoting. Now, guess what? You're a podcast host. That means your listeners are listening to audio. If you can give your listeners a free audiobook, don't you think they would obviously love that? Especially if it's a free audiobook around a topic that you promote. Like, let's just say, one of your things is about fasting. You can recommend the complete audio guide to fasting by Jason Fung, and they can get that audiobook for free by going to eofirebook.com. And that just forwards them to my affiliate link for Audible, and I get $25 every single time somebody um, goes through that link and gets a free audiobook. Now, as you can see, um, they, they, they are promoting $15 for each trial which is where you start, but if you prove yourself as an affiliate, they'll bump you up to 20, then they'll bump you up to 25. And so that's something that you can really think about that's very exciting as a way to start with a sponsor from day one. Number one, products, and products is great because you're creating a podcast. You're delivering free, valuable, and consistent content to your audience. That's awesome. They're going to know, like, and trust you for these reasons. Then you go to your listeners and you say, hey, what are you struggling with? What is your number one struggle right now? They will tell you their obstacles, their challenges, their pain points, and then you create the solution for them in the form of a product 
or a service. And guess what? Podcasters Paradise is just one of many examples I could give how we've done just that. My audience told me that they wanted to learn how to podcast. So we created the community for them to do that. That was five years ago. And since then, Podcasters Paradise has brought in over 4,000 students at over $4 million in revenue. And just in June, it generated $38,405. So this is just an example of how you as a podcast host can ask your listeners what their biggest struggle is, create the solution, offer it to them, and start generating real revenue. Justin Williams did this. He launched a podcast, House Flipping HQ. And within a couple of months, they were like, hey, we love this podcast, but we need the templates. We need tutorials. We want more access to you. So he launched House Flipping Formula, and that course has been rocking it ever since. And he's been a paradiser since 2013. That guy's crushing it. Another example is Eric Tate's been a member since May of 2017. Within 30 days of launching his podcast, The Physician's Road, he completed a raise for one of his investment funds totaling over $800,000. So you can see there's different ways that you can generate revenue by having your podcast. Here's a quick breakdown from June of 2018. We brought in $165,000. Um, again, we have full breakdowns of the last 65 months of income reports over at eofire.com slash income. Kate spends a ton of time, energy, and effort creating these great income reports. And then we actually do create them as podcast episodes as well. So you can listen to them too, if you'd like, but I definitely recommend checking those out for some great ideas on how to further monetize your podcast. So let's take a deep breath because we've now been rocking for about 45 minutes and I want to chat with you about Podcasters Paradise. So what is Paradise? Well, it is the premier podcasting community in the world. We have every step-by-step -step video tutorial that you could possibly need to create and launch your podcast, to grow your audience, and to monetize everything that you need to do all of those things. Podcasters Paradise has literally every resource that you will need, every step-by-step -step tutorial, every template, every question you have is answered. And we can say that with absolute certainty because we also have a Facebook group that myself and Kate are in every single day. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second where we answer every question. And when the questions come up multiple times, then we create tutorials and we keep the system fully updated and fully rocking. So here's a little back end video of Podcasters Paradise. Let me kind of take you through here so you can see exactly what we've created. So first off, welcome to Paradise. Here's the nav bar at the top here with our create, grow, monetize, the different webinars we've done over the years in the resource tab. Over here is the search bar where you can put in any search term you have. Let's just say you want to find out more about sponsorships. We'll write the word sponsorships, hit enter, and everything that we've created about sponsorships will be right there for you, period, end of story. Uh, let's go back home by clicking the Paradise tab. And under Create, that's our first section, you can see everything you need to create your podcast. We have the launch checklist. We have the idea, what you'll need, the interview, topic base. Everything you need to create your podcast is here, end of story. If you click in any one of these uh, boxes, it will open up into this beautiful format where you can then consume the content at your leisure. And it keeps track of everything that you've done as well. Under grow, it's the exact same thing. Everything you need to grow your podcast, all the training, all the tutorials, you're off to the races. Monetize, same thing. Everything you need for affiliates, sponsorship services, products, you name it. Open it up. It's got everything you need there for, from templates to tutorials to audio content to questions to answers. It's all there for you. You can search by lesson title. You can keep track of your progress. Uh, we also have that webinars tab. We've been doing a monthly webinar for five years now. So all of those webinars are right here for you. You can go back to the archives. Uh, back in 2015, we brought Tim Ferriss on. We brought all the top podcasters on. So you can go back and listen to some great content from people like Tim. He absolutely rocked the mic. Our resources, this is every resource you'll need. You know, accountability, templates, the map, the Facebook group, tools, podcasters. Everything is right here excuse me, for you, waiting for you to check out and to learn from. Um, and again, you can just kind of go in these templates here and see all the templates that we have for every potential scenario. Download them, rebrand them, make them your own. Awesome. So going back here, um, 
just wanted to kind of bring you back to the front of paradise here as we finish up and say thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with us today. Um, I wanted you to get, get a good vibe of the back end of Podcasters Paradise and also want to share with you right now what else we do have. We have an exciting and amazing Facebook community. A little example I wanted to kind of circle here. Joe says, hey guys, I'm hoping you can give me some guidance. The podcast I submitted was rejected, blah, blah, blah. And right away, boom, we jump on it. We answer the questions for him. He's back off to the races. What could have been a really terrifying scenario turned into a great solution for him very quickly. Now, these, this Facebook group is amazing so that you can get feedback for your logo, your format, the overall feel of your show, where you can exchange the latest tips, tools, and tactics with your audience, um, You can uh, with, other, with your audience and other podcasters that are actually podcasting right now. You can find guests for your show, which is super important. Like if you want to find guests, um, ask for guests. Uh, you can find opportunities to be a guest on other people's shows so you can actually get your message out a little bit better. You can exchange honest iTunes reviews. Every single Friday, we do a PIF, Pay It Forward Friday, and that's where we exchange honest iTunes reviews to get um, some great support and guidance for our shows. You can hone your interview skills by practicing with others. It's something that I love to see people doing in paradise and so much more. Um, we also have monthly live webinars where myself and Kate get on and we sometimes bring on an expert like we've brought on Michael Hyatt, Amy Porterfield, uh, Tim Ferriss, Gary Vaynerchuk, like you name it, like we brought them on to, to just rock the mic with us. So let's talk options. You could totally go at this alone. You could. Um, people have done it and they've had success. You could go at this alone. Or you could join Podcasters Paradise. You can be part of the Podcasters Paradise family. And I can tell you, it's a fun, awesome, amazing family and community. You can see uh, this is just a snapshot from a Podcasters Paradise cruise we threw a couple of years ago. Podcasters, we're just fun people and we love hanging out. We love getting together at the events like Podcast uh, Movement and PodFest that I'm the opening keynote at this coming March. Um, we throw events, we get together, we you know throw these small paradise gatherings where we can just hang out and meet each other in person after hanging out in the Facebook group all year. It's just a lot of fun. So let's talk investment. You get 100% access to Podcasters Paradise, 100% access and immediate access for $97 per month. Everything, end of story, there's nothing else. This is all you need to commit to get full access to paradise. We also have a $997 annual option, which will save you about $200. Plus, if you choose the 997 option, you and myself are gonna get on an eight minute one-on-one -on -one strategy call. Because those people that join the annual plan, they're just more committed, period, end of story. And I want to reward you for that with an eight minute call, me and you to talk strategy as you get going on your podcast. We have a bonus for you. This is for people that join on this masterclass. We're going to ship to your door. I don't care if you're in Minnesota, Jamaica, Antarctica, um, <laughs> the Netherlands, you fill in the blank, wherever you are. If you join Paradise today on this live webinar, we're going to ship you the podcast journal from us to you. It's going to be shipped to your door. This sells for $49 on Amazon right now. You're going to get it for free to have as a companion from idea to launch in 50 days. You're also going to get the content creation plan course. This is something that Kate created uh, to create, promote, and ignite your content creation plan. This course sells for $300. You're going to get it for free. And you're also going to get my million dollar podcasting funnel which is a $550 valued course, you're gonna get that as part of you joining today um, where I walk you through a million dollar podcasting funnel that you can and should replicate for yourself. So that is three bonuses worth $900 that you can get by joining today. Plus there's a 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. I'm only gonna say this one time my friends, but if you join today, we're gonna send you the podcast journal as a gift. If you decide not to stay in paradise, uh, within 30 days, you get a full refund. Plus you get to keep the podcast journal as our gift to you. Um, that's just it. We know that you just decided for any number of reasons to go off in other directions. So keep that as our gift to you. So let's do a recap. When you join, you're going to get immediate and complete access to every video tutorial, the community, every template, every webinar, every resource, every question you have gets answered. That is our pledge to you. 
plus the podcast journal shipped to your door, access to the content creation plan, my million dollar podcasting funnel course, three bonuses, $900 for you. What are some paradise are saying? Well, Kathleen says we could not have launched our podcast without this course. Paradise gave us everything we needed to successfully plan and launch our podcast. Chandler says he used paradise to launch a self-publishing school podcast and he couldn't be happier. The school, the course helped uh, him every step of the way, giving him step-by-step -step instructions and showing him the landmines to avoid. And Laura says she is extremely grateful for her experience in paradise. Uh, her dream of having a podcast has come true. Thanks to incredible creating and support of Kate and JLD in the entire paradise community. So what happens when you join? Well, when you join, you're going to get all of those things that we talked about. You're going to get immediate access to paradise, immediate access to our Facebook group, a personalized welcome video from me, and the option of a two minute welcome chat where I'm actually going to call you and welcome you to the community. Cause that's what I do for people that join plus direct access to myself and Kate every single day via the Facebook group to answer all your questions. And again, our no questions asked 30 day money back guarantee is there for you. So if you want to join right below this video, click yes, I want to join Podcasters Paradise. Take action, my friends, make it happen. I want to welcome you to the community. I want to ship you a podcast journal and I want to do that now. So we're going to start taking questions answer any questions you might have. I'm going to jump on a video. So I'm going to let Kate take a second, Skype me over the questions that she's been collecting this whole time. I'm actually going to take a sip of water and I'm going to be right back. All right, my friends, I'm back and I wanted to turn on video real quick before I actually go ahead and answer some questions. Let me just flip on this and say hello and thanks for hanging out. I wanted to go grab the podcast journal too. It was back in my closet here to say this is the beauty that we'll be shipping to your door if you join Podcasters Paradise today. It is a beautiful step-by-step, -step, let me get you a little closer for the glare, uh, journal that is going to get you from idea to launch in 50 days. Smells amazing too, but I want to ship this to your door no matter where you are in the world. Um, and we're going to do that for every single person who does join today live on this webinar. So we'd love to see you in there. And again, I said this a couple times before, but you know, Podcast Paradise is a family. And if after 30 days for any reason, you just don't think that it's for you. We get it. Full refunds, no questions asked. Go utilize that $97 or that $997 in some other manner because that's what you decided to do. We're going to support that decision and keep the podcast journal as our gift to you. So let me flip on back now to the actual presentation. I'm going to answer any and all of your questions that you have as we're going through this. I do want to jump in the chat real quick and say uh, what's up to some people that have been wrapping and rolling this whole time. We got Juan in the house. Excuse me. We have Davia. We also have um, Araceli says, hi, everyone. Concetta in the house. Judy, Joanne, Gail, um, Araceli, uh, Kathy in the house. We also have, let me scroll down a little further. Chris B, rocking and rolling, um, guest 3947, Matt R, um, Chris says, I'm in the hizzy. <laughs> we also have Darren, Transform, Peter, Boxcore, Millwood, King David, Tony Todd, uh, Concetta, Benjamin, Vincent, Jim, Kathy, Matt, a lot of guests, a lot of other people, um, and a lot of great questions. So let's dive into those questions right now. Uh, Kathy says, is there an ideal minimum or maximum length to, of each podcast? Kathy, the ideal length of your podcast is what your ideal listener wants. So you need to go through the avatar training in podcasters paradise. It will share, it will get you to who your perfect listener is at a very deep and intimate level. And every question like this that you could possibly ever have for your podcast will be answered by your avatar. Araceli says, when can we start monetizing a podcast? Is there a minimum number to connect with sponsors? Also, if my podcast is kind of niche and my audience is spread around the world, how can I get to monetize it? So you can start monetizing your podcast day one, Araceli. I think you might have joined late, so you're going to want to go back through the replay 
and look at some of the things that I shared under monetize, but you should be doing it immediately and as soon as possible. There's no number, there's no minimum number of downloads and all the tactics to connect with sponsors, we have it listed out in Podcasters Paradise, step by step by step. And if your podcast is niche and spread out, how can you monetize it? Sometimes that's even better. You create your own product or your own service that is a solution to your audience, period and end of story. Um, see if there's any other questions that we have going on here. Ch -ch -ch. Araceli says, what do we need to do if we need to change the name of our podcast? Does it change the feed? Do we need to change the website? The answer is no and no. If you want to change the name of your podcast, you just change the name of your podcast. It's a couple types of the keyboard. It's saving it and nothing changes. The feed does not change. The website does not need to change. You're off to the races. Michael says, I've done about 20 interviews over the last few years. We recommend using those interviews for starting a podcast or just sort of new interviews to build a bank before publishing. Michael, if you're proud of those interviews and they're good audio quality, use them. Absolutely use them. If they're evergreen, meaning they're still relevant today, absolutely use them. Off to the races. Matt says, I feel like my expertise is something I don't want to pursue. Is it best to hold until I know what to create a podcast about? Matt, it's very obvious you need to go and take my topic tutorial within Podcasters Paradise. That is going to get you to what topic you're going to want and need to podcast about. You have an obligation to podcast about something, even if you don't know what that something is yet. So take that tutorial within Podcasters Paradise. It will make it very clear what your podcast needs to be about, and you'll be off to the races. Though both are good, why audition over audacity? Um, audition is just more robust. Audacity is free and that's what you kind of get for. It's very good, but it's free. Audition, it's a very well-funded by Adobe. They have a lot of support. They have a lot of technicians. They have a lot of designers. It's just a better program. There's a lot more to do. Um, so that's why Audition is the best, in my opinion, and um, definitely better than Audacity. Um, Davia says her chat's not working and she's having an issue with the checkout. Davia, you can go ahead and just email Kate right there, kate at eofire.com. She will uh, make sure that you get all the answers you need to make it happen. Um, and definitely, uh, excuse me, let me start that over. Definitely put in any questions you might have in the chat um, because I'm here to answer any questions you guys might have as you're going forward. Um, and I would love to answer all of them. So it seems like we've had some very specific and good questions. And if any more are coming, please drop them in here right now. Otherwise, I'm going to let you all get back to your lovely, busy lives. But it's been really great chatting with everybody here today. Um, again, this right now is kind of the end of the uh, live Q&A formats. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in now. We got Peter in the house that says, boom. I'm in. <laughs> so welcome, Peter. Glad to have you here. And remember, my friends, uh, if you do join, you're getting the podcast journal. Plus, if you join 997, you are going to get an eight-minute chat with me, not to mention the $900 worth of bonuses that we have for you. So we're fired up as we see uh, people jumping in here. And if anybody has any more questions, I'm still kind of standing by. Uh, like Juan says, another great webinar. I believe it's the fourth one I attend. Every time JLD and Kate make a difference with additional value. Thanks, guys. Excellent example to follow. Take care. Love it. Love it. Love it. And appreciate the kind words. Guest 9602 says, is it really possible to monetize a very niche podcast? What if I only get a thousand subscribers? You need to Google guest 9602. Google... Um, 1,000 true fans, read that article and then reset your mindsets into the correct place because right now it's in a place of what I call scarcity. Only 1,000 subscribers. Have you ever spoken in front of 1,000 people? I'm not challenging you. I'm just asking like people to think about what it means to have 1,000 people listening to your voice as you're speaking. Um, that's a really big deal. And yes, it's incredibly possible to monetize something like that. So we got uh, Dunsky in the house. Um, <laughs> Peter says, looking at up in Puerto Rico too. Seriously, the winners in New England. So done. P 
Peter, I couldn't agree with you more. Like in the world that we live in today, why anybody who doesn't have to live in the North lives in the North. Um, phew, I gotta, I gotta just figure something out. <laughs> uh, you're welcome on those 1000 scrubs guest 9602. And again, I wasn't really trying to challenge you specifically. I was just kind of taking your question and just wanting people to think about that. Like, using the terminology, like only a thousand subscribers. It's like, that's a ton of people. That's a ton of human beings, a ton of opportunity and a lot of exciting things that you can do. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> and then Peter says, I can't understand that either talking about the Northern winters. And he says, totally get it. Thanks JLD. Appreciate that guest 9602. Um, so, all right, my friends, it was great chatting with all of you today. Uh, have a wonderful, weekend as it approaches here. And of course, if you're a football fan, go Patriots. Tom Brady is the GOAT, greatest of all time. JLD out.